Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel! This is Ingrid and I am an Ontario Certified Teacher and in today's video, I'm going to share with you some teaching opportunities for an uncertified teachers here in Canada. To be able to teach in the publicly funded schools here in Canada, you need to be certified first. Meaning, you need to have the license to teach in your respective province. But, that doesn't mean that you cannot land a teaching job without being certified first. fresh education graduate here in Canada or if you are an internationally educated teacher meaning you are a teacher immigrant and you don't have the certification issued by the licensing body in your respective province yet these are the teaching opportunities you can apply to number one is being a private school teacher because teachers in the private schools here in canada specifically in ontario are not required to be certified by the ontario college of teachers though there are private schools that only accept teacher applicants who are certified but then again it's not a requirement number two is emergency substitute teacher publicly funded schools here actually accept non-certified teachers for a substitute teaching position but it also depends on the school board you're applying to because the guidelines for hiring teachers here varies from school board to school board number three is being a private tutor when we say private tutor, this is when a family or a parent of a child hire you to provide one-on-one -on -one educational assistance to elementary and secondary students or adults or to children with special needs. Number four is being a tutor in tutoring centers. All tutoring centers here, such as the Kumon Math and Reading Center, hires non-certified teachers to provide tutoring services. Some tutoring centers here even accept applicants who are not education graduates, so long as he or she is a degree holder. Number five is being an educational assistant or a teaching assistant or in some other province, they call it educator. These professionals assist teachers in instruction delivery and offer students learning support. Education assistants are responsible for performing duties like supervision, um, class preparation, behavior and monitoring, uh, taking attendance, paperwork management, and the like. And you can actually apply to be an EA in either private or public schools here. Also, sometimes EA assists special needs students, such as those with mental and physical disabilities with their mobility, communication, and personal hygiene, and assist with marking your test and worksheets. Number six is being a daycare teacher or an early childhood educator. Early childhood teachers specialize in the learning, developmental, social, and physical needs of young children. The main qualification or requirement to be an early childhood educator is a certification commonly earned through a traditional bachelor's degree program with a major in early childhood education or ECE. However, there are some daycare centers here who would accept non-certified teachers for an early childhood educator position, especially if they really need one and no other qualified applicants. Number seven is being an early childhood assistant or ECA. And what are the duties of an ECA? An ECA will lead young children's activities, um, tell stories, teach songs, and prepare craft materials. And ECA also would help children eat, 
dress, use toilet, write down observations about the children in class for the supervisors, and discuss children's progress and challenges during the staff meetings. Number eight is being an English as a second language teacher or an ESL teacher. If you're already here in Canada, there are many companies online hiring an ESL teacher. Some of them are VIP Kids, Q Kids, Dada. You just have to be fluent in English and hold a bachelor's degree. To apply as an ESL online teacher, actually don't require you to be an education graduate for as long as you are a degree holder. But honestly, being an ESL online teacher would be your last resort option because I don't think it would be considered as a real Canadian work experience since your students would be from Asian countries such as Korea and China. First, Canadian working experience is very important if you are a new immigrant here because if you already have that, it would be easier for you to apply to another job or a better job that you really like. So those are the eight teaching opportunities that you can apply to while you are not yet certified here. This is especially for teacher immigrants who are not um, certified yet to teach in the publicly funded schools here. You know, honestly, when I was still in the Philippines and was waiting for my visa to be approved, I already set my mind that when I'm already here in Canada, I won't be a teacher anymore. What I actually first see was me working as a gardener or a cleaner or something like that because that's what I've always heard that when you migrate in Canada, you'll have to go back from scratch and would, and would end up uh, to be working in a field that's not related to your profession. But I proved it wrong. So, I hope you too can land in any of those teaching-related jobs that I have mentioned as your first job here in Canada while you're still waiting for your certification. You can do it!